Perhaps you could start just by telling us how old you are, Phil, and what your occupation was when you developed occupational asthma. I'm, uh, I'm 50 now, and I, I first developed it about 34, 30, 35 year old when I first started having symptoms of this. What was your job when you first started having problems? Play to well. When did you first develop problems with your breathing? How many years had you been working as a welder before you first developed problems? Well, I started when I was 15. I first started noticing problems with my breathing when I was about, about 34, 35. But I hadn't always worked at this particular company. I'd worked at a different company. But at the last company, but I got the problems. Mm -hmm. I worked there for 20 years. What did you first notice with your breathing? Uh, a tightness. I first noticed it when I went. I just went to bed one night, and I woke up and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't mm -hmm. just, and I never, I had never experienced that because I'd, I'd, I'd always played football. I was always fit, and I just never, I never smoked in my life. Mm -hmm. I never experienced not being able to breathe, and uh, it got me down because. It's just an awful feeling. You feel as though you're drowning. Yeah, it must be very frightening. And uh, it yeah. is. And uh, uh, I noticed this, and uh, I had it for. Well, about, I just had it for about a week before I decided to go to the doctor's with it. Right. So you went to your, your family doctor. I went to my GP. What happened to you after the diagnosis was made? You had to stop working, didn't you? When it was first diagnosed, when it, when I was actually told, but it was occupational asthma. Uh, he did say, finish with welding. But he, he, he said to me, finish with stainless steel welding. It's stainless steel what's causing you this problem. So I just went and got a job welding mild steel. When did he give up completely welding? Because, when did he give up? Mm. Uh, 1992. So what were the reasons that made you carry on welding, even though you knew it may be harming yourself? Desperation. I needed a job. Yeah. I had two young children and a wife. Yeah. And I needed a job and I needed a living. And nobody could answer me. Uh, I, and I was only a young man. Yeah. I was only in my 30s, 30s. And I thought, this can't, I just can't not work. It's yeah. just, I've worked all my life. I worked seven days a week. And when somebody turns around to you and says, no more work, that's it. It's uh, it's devastating, and I just couldn't accept it, and I wouldn't accept it. Yeah. And I carried on, and I got another job. But I, it, it was really getting to yeah. a stage where I were really... I was having four and five inhalers a month, and then it, it started then. People, doctors started to think, there's something wrong with you. There's something really wrong. You shouldn't be having this. So I presume you stopped working pretty much around that time. Yeah. What happened to your breathing over the months and years after you stopped being a welder? <laughs> well, it, 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 when I was in, you know, when I was away from it, I felt better. Mm -hmm. I did feel better when I was away, but I'd been at it for that long. I'd, I, the damage was too far. Mm -hmm. it, it, I damaged myself because mm -hmm. I carried on. But I did feel a lot better. But it, it just, it never went away then. It, okay. it, it, it would just win me all the time. So what do you like now, Phil? What could, what could you do on the flat, for example, in terms of walking? 50 yard. Okay. 50 yard, and then I have to use me an ailer. And what about uh, a flight of stairs? Oh, no. Well, I can. Or any incline. Mm -hmm. Very difficult now. He seems to have, have gradually got uh, worse as I've got older. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Life's difficult, very mm. difficult now. Could you kick a football around in the park? No, no, I was, no, I couldn't. And I missed all, I, well, I could never run around with my two daughters in park when, I, when I'd got it. So what you're saying is it actually quite dramatically affected your family life? Yeah, it did. It affected my family life, my, my social life, me uh, financially. It, it, uh, I'm not saying it ruined me, but... He sent me back mm -hmm. a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. Luckily, my wife <clears throat> uh, took a part-time job and that helped us mm -hmm. to go. And very fortunate. 
my own doctor uh, told me to claim certain benefits, which I didn't want to claim. Yeah. Disability, mm -hmm. living allowance, I wouldn't claim it. Mm. And he had my wife, he phoned my wife up and I'd heard him. And he told her they must claim this, this is what it's for. But uh, I didn't want to claim it. I've pretty much finished my questions, but are there any other thoughts that you've got yourself that you'd like to tell us about that have cropped up? I think the compensation system for people with industrial disease mm -hmm. is awful, it's terrible. I think they make people jump through hoops and uh, it takes far, far too long. And when, you, when I actually got to the stage where I got to the doors at Manchester High Court mm -hmm. and they settled it and they admitted it. And then the judge said, even though they'd admitted it, mm -hmm. Mr. Hyde, the judge said Mr. Hyde should never have had to wait six years for this. You